Many times people ask me, what's the hardiest tree that you raise? And I've got to say, this particular tree here, this is called Dawn Redwood. These are small seedlings. We're raising these. We're, we put them in water. And you can see they're putting out roots. The little white root there, it's putting out roots just by dipping them in water. But not only that, a good way to raise them is like this. We put them in a little potting soil, take a couple cuttings early in the spring before they've leafed out, and we put them in the potting soil, and they will leaf out. The Dawn Redwood is such a tough tree that it's been around before the dinosaurs. And here's an example of how tough this tree is. This was broken off right here about a month and a half ago. And the tree is still leafing out. That's how tough it is. Now, we are the only nursery in the world that has the Dawn Redwood tree, and I collect fossils. So I'm the only nursery in the world that has the fossil of the Dawn Redwood. And that's the fossil right there. Now, it's an interesting part about that fossil is where I found it. You would never guess in this world where I found that. I actually found these fossils of the Dawn Redwood at a go-go bar. Yes. I was up in Alaska fishing and we couldn't get into Kodiak because Barack Obama was arriving in, a, in, a, in Anchorage where we were, you know, waylaid. And uh, he was going to mount, he, he was going to rename Mount McKinley Mount Denai. So he denied me my trip to, to Kodiak. So I had to go to a go go bar. And when I got to the go go bar, I look across the street. It was called the Great Alaskan Bush House Hotel. And I look across the street and I said to my buddies, I'm going to the rock shop right across the street. You can go to the go-go bar. So they went into the go-go bar. I went to the rock shop and sure enough, I found all kinds of fossils of the Dawn Redwood. Found this one and I found this one. And the funny thing is, I told everybody, ah, I found a fossil of the Dawn Redwood tree, but nobody believed me. But this one old gal comes in here and she says, how do you know it's the Dawn Redwood? I said, well, because the foliage is opposite. It's definitely not cypress because cypress foliage is alternate. So she takes her little ocular out that she had with her. And you can see right here how this is opposite. And she starts to examine my fossils. And she turns to me and she says, you know, you're right. This is Dawn Redwood. So I says to her, how do you know it's Dawn Redwood? And she says, well, I'm the chairman of the paleontology department of a major university. I should know. My graduate students wouldn't have gotten that. And I said to her, well, that's why I didn't need to go to your university. I went out. I got my PhD in post hole digging. So anyway, the Dawn Redwood is one of the most hardy trees that you can buy. And if you need them, you can come to Highland Hill Farm. And that is a true story about where I found my Dawn Redwood. I know you're not going to believe it. But it is a wonderful tree. And these can be used as bonsai. You can make bonsais out of these. They're also, also able to do that. So if you need a Dawn Redwood, I am the Dawn Redwood King, and I'm located in Fountainville, PA, and you can call me at 215-651-8329 for Dawn Redwoods. Don't worry, we have many sizes of Dawn Redwoods ready for pickup.